Well, thank you very much, studio. Indeed, it's such a wonderful afternoon here at the Taita Hills Safari Resort here in Taita Taveta, where the World War I commemoration has been taking place for the past two days. Today marks the end of the commemoration, and behind me are uh, three plaques. Uh, one reads remembering the African soldier. The second one reads Lieutenant William Dartnell, who happens to have been uh, an Australian soldier who took part uh, or participated effectively in the First World War. And the last one is a plaque that represents the Indian soldiers and uh, those who also worked uh, in the First World War. So uh, there have been uh, mixed reactions from uh, Kenyans specific of uh, the traditional way of commemorating uh, this specific uh, function whereby we've been witnessing number of tourists and visitors who visit specific countries in the Commonwealth uh, just to visit these Commonwealth graves where um, European soldiers who died here in Africa were buried. And uh, for the longest time, Africans, to be precise, Kenyans have been always asking about where are the Africans' uh, graves or where are the bodies for the Africans who took part in the war. For this reason, I earlier had a conversation with British High Commissioner to Kenya, Neil Wigan, over the same, and this is what he had to say. The, some of the first fighting of the First World War happened here in Kenya, but also it ended two, the war ended two weeks later in Kenya than it did anywhere else, and that's why we're here. The Commonwealth War Graves Commission, which runs all the cemeteries like this one, uh, has, now has a big programme for uh, the uncommemorated to make sure that everybody's name is properly recorded. And when the king came to Kenya two weeks ago, he went to the, the Carrier Corps Cemetery in Carrier Corps in Nairobi to hear about this. So it's important that now I've come here where a lot of the Carrier Corps fought and, and lost their lives. Uh, and we have a big project going to try to, to get all the names, to find out where they're, met, where they're buried uh, and to give them a proper memorial. The engagement we've had about the African soldiers and uh, those who died during the war. Uh, World War I, the career Corps, and uh, World War II has been very intense. And uh, I'm glad to hear that the Commonwealth of Grave are working on that. We are very soon, God willing, by next year, we'll have something coming up for the Africans who lost their life during the campaign. We, we've always been asking ourselves questions where these African bodies were buried and how they can be recognized and also be given a decent memorial sites here at the Taita Taveta region. We, it is our hope that going forward that we will always be seeing these celebrations and remembering the great soldiers that fought in this World War I. Well, this particular event normally takes place from 23rd to 25th of November, that is approximately three days, and most of the time it takes place here in Taita Taveta for the reasons that this particular area was the belt where the British and German East African soldiers had contact. And uh, for that reason, there are still a number of battlefields from here, at this particular uh, area of Bura, to Mwakitau, to Taveta. Well, that is it for now, and I'll be following up more of this story on our subsequent bulletins at 7 p.m. and, of course, at 9 p.m. NTV Weekend Edition. That's it for now. Back to you to studio.